Welcome to Sequoia National Park. Welcome to the Land of Giants, one of the most beautiful national parks in Southern California and home to one of the largest and oldest tree species on our planet, the famous sequoia trees. In today's adventure, we spend one day exploring Sequoia and Kings Canyon National Parks. We will take you with us to show you the main attractions of the park and help you plan for your own adventure. We started our journey from LAX airport where we picked up a rental car and started driving towards Three Rivers. Three Rivers is a town located less than six miles from the entrance of the park and it took us three and a half hours to get to Three Rivers from LAX airport. We spent the night at Western Holiday Lodge Three Rivers because of its proximity to the entrance of the park. In the morning, we left nice and early, grabbed coffee from a nearby gas station and started driving towards Sequoia National Park before the sunrise. We only had one day to spare and we wanted to make the most out of it. The road to the entrance of the park is very twisty with a lot of turns and can be a bit intimidating. Look at this road, so many switchbacks. Everybody that we saw on video said like, oh, I need Dramamine. I'm not doing bad, you know what I mean? But it is definitely like, wow, there is really a turn every 20 feet. <laughs> As you enter the park, you will spot the Ash Mountain entrance sign, a very unique and authentic national park sign constructed in 1935 and featuring a carved Native American face made from blocks of sequoia wood. Right by the entrance sign is a beautiful viewpoint overlooking Indian Head River, a great photo opportunity, especially during fall season. There's a short walkable trail if you want to wander and get closer to the river. However, we chose to drive forward and get to our next landmark in the park. Our first stop today is Tunnel Rock, this huge rock behind me. Usually you would see people climbing up and taking some cool photos, but it's under construction right now and it's not something that you can do. This landmark boulder marks a former roadway through a granite tunnel here in Sequoia National Park. Next, we make our way up to Otto Log. As you are driving, you will spot Moro Rock up in the distance an isolated dome-shaped granite formation that we will also check out next. There are many viewpoints where you can pull over to take in the beauty of the landscape. Also, keep an eye out for wildlife on the road as we came across a lot of deer on the way. I don't know what it means, but there's a smile This is Autolog, fell in 1917, and back in the day cars were encouraged to actually drive up here for photographs. Uh, the tree is unstable now, and now you can only walk out onto the edge. This is amazing, we were just walking on this huge tree. I still can't believe that these are actual trees. Right now, we are going to check Moro Rock Trail. This is a must if you are visiting Sequoia National Park. It's a 0.4 mile hike with an elevation gain of 187 feet. This trail is kid friendly, no pets are allowed, and it's pretty much stairs the whole way up. And it opens up to a beautiful view of the forest of the Sequoia National Park, as well as some gorgeous peak. You can even spot Mount Whitney in the background. It's really beautiful. If you have the time, make sure to check this trail out.
For the short amount of climbing and the views that this hike offers, it's absolutely worth it. Morro Rock Trail consists of 350 steps and can take between 45 minutes up to 60 minutes to get all the way up and down depending on how many stops you are making throughout the way to either take photos or to let other people pass by. And now that we wrapped up our hike, it's time to check the famous tunnel log. This huge tree fell down back in 1937 in the middle of the road. The National Park Service decided to carve a hole in the middle of it to allow people to drive through and enjoy this beautiful landmark here in Sequoia National Park. The tunnel is eight feet tall and you absolutely must stop here if you are in the park. Our next stop is a natural wonder that attracts visitors from all over the world. We are checking out the largest tree in the world by volume. Ready? Let's go. General Sherman Tree Trail is a 0.9 mile easy hike that takes you to the world's largest tree by volume, the famous General Sherman Tree. This tree was named after the American Civil War General William Sherman and it's estimated to be at least 2,700 years old. The height of the tree is 275 feet. That is 83.8 meters, and the volume of the trunk is 1,487 meter cube. The magnitude of this giant is unbelievable. You have to be here to appreciate it. This tree is big. You can see there's a giant scar that it has from a, a fire a long while back. And you can see how big the scar cuts into the tree as the tree's been growing out from that scar. From the same area, we took another hike on the Congress Trail. This hike is three miles long and you can hike as much as you want before turning back. The air is so fresh and it's a great opportunity to familiarize yourself with the sequoia trees and how resilient they are. It's crazy how big the roots are. And this is not even a huge tree compared to the others in the park. It's, it's impressive. I just can't comprehend how big these trees are. Come check this one out. But be very careful because there is a string of the bark that's about to fall. This is amazing. The inside of the trunk is spacious enough that you can easily pitch a two people tent. Obviously, this is not something that you can do in a national park, but it just shows you how large these trees are. It's unbelievable. My neck hurts from looking up all the time. <laughs> it's crazy how this one is just standing there, even though half of the tree is already burned. This is impressive. Despite all of its structural deficiencies, it is still uh, determined to stand tall. We're gonna to go to the General's Highway so that we can go to General Grant. We just left Sequoia National Park and we're driving through Sequoia National Forest to get to Kings Canyon. It's starting to get a little bit cold here. There are even patches of snow, but the views are spectacular. Kings Canyon is a national park adjacent to Sequoia National Park and is famous for being home to the second largest tree in the world, the gigantic General Grant Tree. 
there is life here. For a second, we thought we're not going to find any food around here because it was just, everything seemed to be crazy. It's snowing here, not snowing, there is some snow. But finally, we found a gift shop. Happy to see that there is a place for us to grab some food, use restrooms, talk to someone. Look at these pine cones. They're huge. I don't think I've ever seen any that are this big. Oh, they smell like the sequoia trees. We are about to check out the General Grant tree. This is the second largest tree in Sequoia National Park and Kings Canyon. Although right now we are in Kings Canyon National Park and we've had a big dose of sequoias today, but you can never get enough. Get to the tree, we are going to be on the Grant Tree Trail. El Sendero del Arbol General Grant. These things are still just, they're huge, but they all have like little fire pits in them. They're all burnt underneath from just lower fires that have just occurred. Every one of them though, like they all are that way. Apparently there's a tree here. It's, it's, not, it's not the biggest tree in the world, but um, it's not small either. And uh, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. In just a moment, we gotta get to the other end of this tunnel. Ooh. And then I'll be able to show you this tree. Fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Seriously, you're not gonna believe the size of this tree though. Oh, coming out of the tunnel. And that was it. We just walked through the tree. <laughs> it's crazy. We can already see the sun peeking out between the trees uh, as we're getting closer to the sunset. So we're trying to find a viewpoint here where we can watch the sun going down. That's going to be really exciting. Look, the colors in front of me are so beautiful. So take me out to California where the sun is always high where the streets are paved with gold and no one ever gets old. <laughs> we only have like 10 minutes before it goes down. I can't believe this, this, this is amazing. This sunset is so very beautiful. Holy moly, yes, Alex. Yes. Wow. That's a sunset. That's one of the best sunsets I've seen. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. We are Trekking Pals Habiba and Alex, and we will see you very soon on a new adventure. So take me out to